other side of the valley, right towards the upper valley, looking outside at Edinburgh. A couple of clouds out there, but you can still see the sky and you can still see that sun beating down. Now, of course, you talked about the beach earlier, but I think this is the best forecast you can have. Temperatures in the upper 80s, serve temperature at 86, and that low rip current risk hanging on. Hopefully, it's going to be like that at least through the weekend. That's when we get those rain chances, and usually we'll start to see things shake up a little bit uh, when stuff like that happens, at least out on the coast. We have temperatures at 100 this afternoon, upper 90s, around 90 if you're out by the coast, 90 for Port Isabel. We're looking at around 90 for Port Mansfield as well, and then the upper valley, 100 to 103 degrees. Looking at 103 there for McAllen, and then same with Stark County, around 103 degree mark. But of course, feels like temperature is going to be between 100 and 110 degrees until we get to this evening. By the time we get to around sunset, which is going to be around 7:38 p.m., we're looking Looking at those temperatures finally down into the 80s, but hey, it's still going to be warm out there. Uh, whatever you want to do tonight, maybe you're going to make some tacos. I've been craving tacos all day because it's Taco Tuesday. You're going to be all good to go. Now, we're going to bring up the daylight counter again because let me tell you, things are going downhill quick. We're losing a minute and a half of daylight every day. Tomorrow is September 13th. We're looking at 12 hours and 22 minutes of daylight. And then we're going to lose, you know, a little over 10 minutes there going into the 23rd. By the time we get to October 13th in one month, we're looking at 11 hours and 37 minutes, almost an hour less of daylight there. So we're really rapidly approaching that first day of fall. And with it, we're losing our sunlight. I'm not mad about it because it means it's going to be dark when I go to bed. But for some of y'all, maybe not the best scenario. Our next weather maker is going to be this frontal boundary that approaches us here this weekend. Yes, we're looking at rain chances. Finally, is it going to get cold because we have that cold front there? No. Uh, in fact, the big question is that remains is still going to be if we see this stall just to our north or actually push through a little bit like I have it right here. Either way, we're not seeing a significant temperature drop. It's not going to feel like fall yet. Our temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days. This is, you know, um, Monday through next Thursday is still above average for much of the state. If we do see any drop in temperatures, it's just going to be because of the increased cloud cover. So maybe in the low to mid 90s instead of 100. As for rainfall totals, some of the estimates do have us close to around an inch of rain for some there in the upper valley. A lot of us in that half an inch uh, area as we go throughout the next seven days and really those best rain chances are going to kick off this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, looking at the chance for showers and storms. So we have a couple more days where it's just going to be hot. Thursday, I think we could see a stray shower and then Fridays when we see those chances for showers and storms increase. Of course, we still have a while to go, so we're going to be keeping an eye on the forecast. But right now, Saturday seems to be the rainiest day. Drop in temperatures not happening this time.